Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the DM to the F reading for Monday. So magical Monday, a new day, a new week, what do we need to know? So we're going to bring in the Divine Mask and the Silence deck for this reading. This is one of my decks and as you can see it's a very big deck. So let's see, there's going to be answers in here for everyone. So whether your mask is with someone else or not, or there's distance, whether you're in separation or communication, there's going to be messages here for you. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and trust in the love. So they're giving me fear. So release any fears around the connection. So definitely feel the mask is releasing fears around the connection today, especially about speaking the truth. Just seen a gorgeous message there. So what does he want to say? So I'm just shuffling them till I feel they're ready because I do feel there's quite a few messages that want to come through right now. And that's it there. So I'm going to put all these back together. So remember, you know, if something doesn't resonate with you, if something comes up and you're thinking, well, that doesn't really go with our situation, sit with the message. There'll be an extra message in there for you. So first he's saying to you, I need to find a solution to move this forward. Because you were the only real thing in my life. So those messages go together. So I need to find a solution to move this forward. And that's so true. So that's also a big message that right now the masculine is contemplating. He's thinking. He's working things out. He's in planning mode about how to move it forward. When we look for a solution, we're finding an answer. We may be asking for help from heaven. We may be receiving guidance from heaven. We may be asking for help and support by people in our lives, you know, and the masculines are actually spending time with people like friends as well and communicating. But most of them will be going within in isolation, solitude and quiet time to find a solution. And a solution means they may need to leave a marriage. They may need to leave a relationship. They may need to move over an ocean for you. They may need to deal with their own insecurity, their own fear. They may need to deal with things they're going through at work or lifestyle changes. Many, many things that they need to find a solution about. Every journey is unique and special and different, even though the masculines operate in the same collective energy. So he's saying to you, I need to find a solution to move this forward. So he's also saying to you here, or she's also saying to you here, I need to move this forward. So you're receiving that message there that he has to take the lead in your connection. So breathe divine feminine, let your twin come to you. And he's saying, you were the only real thing in my life. So what does that mean? It means there's many things in his life, but you're the only real thing. So again, he's saying my life is a joke. It's all fake. It's not real. It doesn't feel real to me. I'm wearing a mask. I'm not being true to myself. But you are the real thing in my life. You're the only real thing in my life. And that's why I need to move it forward. I'm waiting until I feel better. Now, this means as well, remember, the masculines have been going through physical stuff. Okay? And I can, hands on heart, vouch for that. Because as a channeler, I've been picking up on crazy ascension symptoms. And if you're watching the Divine Masculine readings... Especially if you watch them over the last week or so, you'll know that they've been going through crazy things. So he may not be feeling too well physically. So he's saying, I'm waiting until I feel better to move towards you. Maybe he's going through things in his head or in his life and he's saying, I'm just waiting until I feel better. Okay, that means he feels better about what he's doing. He has a solution. He feels physically better, emotionally more stable. So again, he's asking you to give him time. So he's saying, I am coming. I'm just waiting until I feel better. When I'm quiet, I'm always thinking of you. So he's saying that to you. So if you're thinking, do I, does it, do I matter? Does he care? He's saying to you, when I'm quiet, that means when he's blocking you, ghosting you, ignoring you, not responding to you. I am always thinking of you. And that's the truth. So he's saying, I'm always thinking of you when I'm quiet. So you're being reminded when he's quiet, he needs that time, not only to process and to find a solution, but also to think about you. And he's saying, I'm reflecting on my life. So true, these messages, this is where he is. They're giving me the energy of like the four swords and the tarot. He's reflecting, he's thinking, he's processing, he's finding a solution to move it forward and he's reflecting on his life because he's looking around at his life thinking 
this is a joke. I don't like it. I'm not happy. I don't like where I am, what I see. I want to live a different life with you. I'm frustrated about my life. So he's reflecting on his life and it's making him feel very frustrated, very agitated, very angry. You know, he's thinking, I'm just wasting time here. I'm wasting my life. My life is just, you know, getting away from me. So he's feeling frustrated. And when the masculines feel this way, they can also get very turned on about the divine feminine. And, you know, you saw that little short I did to music the other day. I put a funny song on where he was walking around the supermarket forgetting what he wanted to buy because he was thinking about you. Maybe looking at vegetables and, you know, having, you know, kinky thoughts in his head. So the masculines also get turned on by the feminine when they're feeling frustrated because it's a release. You know, so that could be an, another time where he may reach out to you in a very flirty way, you know, or he's looking after himself in that way because he's feeling all this emotion. You make me happier and healthier. So why am I running? I feel like such a fool. And remember, he's saying I'm waiting until I feel better because, you know, he isn't very healthy sometimes when he's away from you because you're his life force. A lot like the sun, you know, think about the sun. We go in the sun, we feel energised. We feel warm, but it's so much more than that. We feel healthy, we feel radiant. It's all about vitamin D. So you are your twin's vitamin D. And he's saying, you make me healthier. You make me happier. Why am I running? He's asking himself this question. Why am I running? I feel like such a fool. But the fool is also a big sign of change, you know, movement, taking a leap of faith. So big message there, like the fool in the tarot, he's moving forward. It will always be you. So he's saying, it will always be you. Doesn't matter who's around me right now, what I'm doing, it will always be you. And what if you don't want me? So remember, this is his fear he's dealing with in that isolation or that silence. What if you don't want me? And you may think, well, that's ridiculous because, of course, I want him. He still goes into fear. He'll be thinking about you. He sees you as someone who's got it all together. And you may not think that you have it all together, but he sees you that way. So it's his own insecurity. It's nothing you're doing wrong. He's learning. What if you don't want me? Because he's thinking about his own fears and his own self and the things he doesn't like about himself that he knows he has to change. Let me sort things out and I will be back. So again, he's saying, let me take the lead. Let me reach out to you. Let me come forward. Let me sort things out and I will be back. So a big reminder there that he has to sort things out. Could be his karmic situation. Could be his job, finances, his children. It could be his own insecurity. Something is he needs to sort out. He said, let me sort it out and I'll be back. So he's assuring you of that, reassuring you of that. So, you know, if you've been thinking it's over, I'm never going to see him again. He said, I will be back. I'm just sorting my things out. And he's saying the words won't come out. I need time to open up. So sometimes the masculine struggle to find the words. They know what they want to say, but they can't say it. It's blocked. They can't get the word. It comes out like blur. So he's saying, I need time to open up. I need time to find the right words and speak my truth. So again, he's asking you for time. I'm feeling overwhelmed by the way I feel about you. And that's so true. The masculines do. George will tell you that on his channel with his readings and his experiences. They feel overwhelmed, blown away. Why? Because you're that son and you give them vitamin D. You make them feel healthy, you make them feel happy, but sometimes they still run because sometimes the sun can be blinding, a blinding light. We need sunglasses on. What do we do when the sun's bright? We turn away from it. We're like, oh, and that's what he's saying. It's overwhelming me because you're the only real thing in my life. I've never felt this way before. I will contact you when I'm ready. So see how he's saying this to you. He's really helping you as a divine family to understand why he needs time. Let me contact you. Don't reach out to me. Let me reach out to you. And I'm spending time outdoors. So he is going outdoors to connect with his own self, reflecting, thinking about things. Now that could be going in nature, going for a walk, going for a drive, going play golf, going to go fishing, going in the shed. Maybe he doesn't like going in nature, 
but he's going outdoors somehow. So he's not cooped up in the house. So I feel that's also a big message that, you know, he could be going to work. He could be going out of the house. If he's in a karmic situation, he said, I'm going outdoors. I don't want to be cooped up. I don't want to be stuck in one place. So he's going out. And you are a part of me. I can always feel you. And that's the truth. You are one. So he's saying to you, you are a part of me and I am a part of you. And I always feel you. So I love how there's no karmic partner messages in here. Even if you have got a karmic partner situation going on. Because it's not important. What matters is him reflecting on his life. And you. And what he needs to change. And that's why he's saying that to you. I need to find a solution to move this forward. Because you are a part of me. I'm a part of you. And I can always feel you. And I will contact you when I'm ready, when I've found that solution and I know what to do. I hope this helps. Have a great day. Sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.